now we are uh, discussing the split landing page using DOM. Uh, so DOM actually combine the HTML, CSS and JavaScript. So this is a very interesting uh, case, a case study example. So you can see when the mouse hovers on the left side, so this, this the page uh, on the left side become more dominant. And when mouse left this page, so this one become shrink and this one become large. So four type of properties applied. One for the mouse uh, hover on the left and uh, leave it. And one enter it and lifting it. And one is a screen splitting. Okay, so screen split video is already discussed. But now we will discuss uh, the more interesting case here. Okay. So this is a um, HTML simple uh, example. Uh, HTML example. We have created a class, a container, and which further contain two div elements. One, this one, this one, this one is assigned a class split left, split right, and this container. So very simple. Uh, and here we have um, here we have a PlayStation heading you can see a PlayStation 5 and we have Xbox Series X okay and we have anchor tag uh, with a high influence of static and container button uh, means uh, this link will be appeared here the link is empty uh, but uh, the class assign is VTN so this means the link will be appeared as a button you can see here the button so this is actually the link okay. so when we when we see the CSS so these are the root properties uh, which are applied this is a left background color, right background color, left VTN hover color, right uh, VTN hover color. Okay, so hover weight, uh, other weight. Okay, and we have body. So these are the uh, common properties applied to this body. Heading uh, H1 contain in both. Uh, both of the uh, split images, uh, split screen. This is translate X, which bring it to the uh, center. If you remove, for example, okay. So this means uh, this now uh, adjust it in the center. Okay, so. Uh, this translate x minus 50 make it its position absolute in the center and these are the btn properties similarly transform translate x is applied left we have top okay align item displays of taken as a flex for this button okay and then we have text transform uppercase etc padding etc is taken and then we have a split left dot VTN and hover. And this is split right dot VTN hover. Okay. So background color. This is the background color. Okay. This is applied here uh, to this uh, when button hovers on. Uh, you can see background color of this is this button is matched with the, the background color of this screen and background color of this is matched with the background color of this okay so when uh, when we see uh, uh, when we mouse hover so the background chain will be color to this if we we make it some some like different like we make it red okay so it become red okay so you can change it this is the border color similarly the we have split right button hover 
I mean the mouse uh, uh, hover so color selected will be uh, this one okay uh, but uh, uh, normally uh, we we can uh, select with your choice this is a container property which is absolute 100% width 100% height okay and then we have split class started position is absolute width is 50 so why width is 50 height will be 100 and this means we are splitting it uh, horizontally so if you are splitting it horizontally this means the width will be split it 50 percent but the height will be same like container and then we have split right with the left zeros okay split right with the right zero okay and this is the split left uh, before so before is a selector which put something before the uh, before the uh, content so if we remove it for example so what will happen so this means uh, anything uh, when it is okay so it actually contain the background color it actually contain the background color uh, then we have split right split right before okay and we have applied the speed for example if we remove it uh, still our properties will be applied but uh, with no timing so it it does not look so amazing okay and this is how our left because you can see that uh, apart from splitting we have four types of hovering when mouse enter mouse left from the left mouse enter and mouse left from the right so hover left left hover left right our left our right right and our right left so when hover left uh, um, how uh, left when we uh, mouse hover on the left side okay and it hovers so it become uh, equal to hover width and uh, hover left and then right if we mouse is for example if you see so this is hover left and left this is hover left and right so it become shrink so this is the other hover width uh, and this is the uh, other width when the mouse uh, hovers left and right similarly we apply this concept to the right hover okay and uh, we have uh, this heading and bit button property now come to the javascript you see we have taken three constant left right container so document.query selector so by default it will uh, uh, it will select the first matching class it will be left okay so if we have two classes with the same name okay so the first one will be selected you can see where we have only one class with the left and then right and this container so we are adding listener mouse enter mouse leave mouse enter mouse leave so when mouse is entered so this is the um, which type of function so this is the um, uh, called the arrow function so arrow function when we apply the arrow function so we directly write here the bracket and then the arrow sign container dot class list so we are adding class list to this container dot add and dot remove so when mouse lift so remove the class which class to be added hover left and this is hover uh, remove this hover left okay and what is the hover left you can see uh, hover left this is the hover left and we have two class hover left hover right okay 
so this is a main page we can see the hover left and hover this is the right so add hover left uh, right hover and mouse when enter the right side so hover right is added and when hover right is added so this means uh, these properties are applied both of these right properties are applied okay so this was all about the split paging with beautiful animation thank you so much for watching my video thank you so much